Hello my crafty friends. How's everyone doing today? This is Sherry. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. So I've made another Golden Book Encyclopedia uh, journal. This one is book two. Uh, author Arthur to BL. So uh, just FYI, here's the cover. This cover was in really good shape as you can see. And I want to just let you see what's on it in case you're interested. And the front and what's on the cover. I think they're all gorgeous. I love the collages on these, but um, anyway, they all have different things on them, which is really cool. And the back is the same as the front. And um, I've got this fabric here, vintage fabric on the spine. We've got a little girl riding her bike here and the ABCs and flowers. And then this trim that I used here is on the back and the front. And uh, two signatures. There are five pamphlet stitch, so nice and sturdy. Uh, two signatures, like I said. And I'll show you the goodie pack too, but um, it's very similar to the last couple that I made. But those sold, so I'm as they sell, then I'll make another one. I just don't want to, you know, make a bunch and then have them sit in my shop. So that's why I'm just kind of doing one at a time. Got that same fabric here, and of course the inside and the back, uh, the back and front cover are the original paper. So it's wide open for you to do whatever you want. If you want to add pockets or anything like that, uh, collage, whatever you want to do, it's ready for you. So, and, uh, and as I've been doing in the other uh, journals like this, I the, the uh, signatures are covered with wallpaper. You know, that's my signature cover on these, nice and sturdy. It protects the inside pages, plus it's a fun thing to decorate or do whatever you want, add to whatever you want on there, nice sturdy paper, uh, wallpaper. So that's it's all got a little fold out there. This one has some painty paper in it, and uh, each signature has I think two uh, pages from you know two whole two page sections from the original encyclopedia. You know this book, or not necessarily this book, but a golden book encyclopedia. So here's this one about the presidents, and this side here. Talks about printing. This is some uh, packing paper from Amazon or Walmart. Whenever I get this brown paper in my packages, I keep it. And I actually uh, have been ironing it. So it's uh, it uh, doesn't come out perfect, but it comes out pretty straight. And I really like it uh, as a nice different type of paper to put into journals and to use, you know, instead of just throwing it out. I think it's really cool. I love craft color paper too, anyway. So I hope you do too. This is a, a pink dyed music paper. Uh, this is my pink uh, paint residue <laughs> on that one. This is the Campbell's uh, menu planner paper that I've been putting in them. It has a little fold out there. Encyclopedia page here. Philippines and Phoenicians. <laughs> this yellow lined paper. This is also, uh, I can tell from the feel of it because it feels like I can feel the paint. Um, and that's from the uh, paint residue also. And this is, uh, I think this is just regular notebook paper here that I used. It came out really pretty. This is wrapping paper. Uh, this is from my Reader's Digest Atlas here in the center. You've got this side here and a fold out here in the center. And then this side looks like this, has some information. Okay, so this is the second half of the first signature where we had those same papers. Encyclopedia there, talking about the piano, the Campbell's menu planner paper, the music in Amazon packaging, the painting paper, and the wallpaper. And the second signature, of course, starts out with also wallpaper and some more painting paper here. Encyclopedia page. This is talking about poultry, so you've got some pretty chickens there and a turkey. <laughs> Here we're talking about the presidents again and music paper, the uh, Amazon packaging, some just white lined paper. Encyclopedia. Oh, I love that. That's the planets there. That's pretty, isn't it? And then this is braille paper. All the pockets I leave open in case you want to do something with that so you can glue it together, put a ribbon in there, staple it, whatever you want to do. And then this is a, the paint residue paper, the atlas paper here, 
Ooh, this is a pretty one. It's got the planets on it. Solar system, it says. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then this page, information about the reach into space. On the back half of that second signature, the Braille paper, encyclopedia, got the Pony Express and the and Pompeii. <laughs> I think those are so interesting. The Quakers on this one, encyclopedia, and quartz, my painting paper, and some wallpaper. So, yep, two signatures. They all have, uh, they're all the same size. I put it in the, um, I put it in the listing, but just in case uh, you'd like to know, I'll go ahead and say, as a reminder, they are seven one and one quarter inches wide and approximately almost ten and a half inches tall. So, um, and the pages are, uh, let's see, let me remember for a second, for, for, I think 40 pages and 80 surfaces. And then here's the goodie card for this one. They're all coming in these cellophane bags. And I fold up after the video, I will fold these up in order to be able to close this because right now I can't close it. But here's what's in this one. Oh, let me grab it all. I've been putting the same amount of goodies in each one, so they're different but similar. So in this one, um, I'm putting ruffles in all of them so you can decide where you, if you would like a ruffle, short, long, whatever, you can do whatever you want with that. So this one has this pretty kind of uh, a crew colored ruffle and this one here it's kind of like a, almost like a curtain fabric oh, but everything here is from thrift stores or um, no digitals anything like no print no printables just everything's original I've got let's see I thought I put three in here if there's not another one I'll go grab one but uh, there's two of my sewn together strips here that you can use as a whole as a page decoration or cut them up and use them as tab tabs for pages or you know tags and things like that this is a coin envelope I've been putting one of these and all of these little goodie packs with some stickers inside oh there's there's the other one there's one there <laughs> the sewn together strip so that one does have three um, and then maybe it was so small I put it in there so it wouldn't get lost and then stickers in this one. We've got a little bunny here. Floral, like bouquet. Oh, here, wait. Let me turn it right side up. We've got some floral with, like a little basket with flowers and some chicks. This is a little label. Like, it looks like a map paper on there. This is another basket with a chick. And different colored flowers, though. We've got blue. Uh, and these happy face, smiley, little retro daisies I've been putting in all of the packages. So let's put that back in there. And I'll put that little uh, sewn together strip back in here too so it doesn't get lost. And then of course you have the envelope, this little coin envelope that you can use. And I did get these at a thrift store. You can tell because even, I don't know where they were before the thrift store, but they got a little faded mark right there. So that's kind of interesting. And then I'm just putting a pretty envelope in here just for you to use however you wish. It's a nice size so you can do just about anything with it. And then there is a uh, CD envelope, you know, nice colorful one, and a pretty card. This one has uh, this. These are uh, artist cards, and artist is right down here, so you can read that if you get this. If you want to know who the artist was, but uh, a pretty card. And then a Polar uh, Coca-Cola Bear paper bag. Of course, there's many different uses uses for paper bags, so. That will be in there. Uh, this is a label, a uh, vintage label that I got when I was getting a uh, subscription, a vintage subscription uh, box. I got it for I got it for a few months, and one time, one or two times, these labels were in there. And that's a really pretty one there, really gorgeous label. A vintage flashcard. These were old. I got these at an in estate sale, and I believe the lady was a teacher. She had things that just a teacher would have, and she had tons of flashcards. I think I bought them all. <laughs> so um, I've had I have a bunch of bunches of flashcards, and I had bundles, but I think they're all sold now at my shop. This is a neat envelope. I thought it's because it's a different shape. It's a square. So I, you know, this is a nice big journal. 
so it'll fit just in anywhere in there. You can put it inside the cover as a pocket. You can put it on a page, do a flip out, just whatever you want to do. That's the fun part of these journals because it's wide open. The pages are blank, ready for you to do whatever you want. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you just wanted to try your hand at kind of making a junk journal without making the actual book part, then you've got a lot of things here that you can do that with. I thought there was, oh, here's the other one. So this is a marbleized looking uh, journaling card, and this is one of my photo journaling cards in there. So those are in there. Then some coffee dyed tickets. And a piece of fabric here. Uh, I love this blue and kind of, uh, well, it's kind of off-white, but it's uh, this was from a thrift store. And then I've got some little pieces here, too, for you to make tabs or whatever you want. Um, you can use these in creating clusters you know, as a base and then put a little button on top or something. But uh, there's different little colors here and different sizes. And they're all kind of, uh, some of them are torn and some of them are pinking. I used my pinking shears on, but they're nice little squares. That's a little piece of something that I had, like a kind of like a crochet, but it's not crochet. And it's a little black piece that I've used that in clusters. So that makes a nice little addition to a cluster. So just all these little squares. I like to use these in clusters, that's why. Or, or tabs. You know, you can put it like this on a page. Here's the, here's another one. But just say this is your page, and you can put it like that. Or you can wrap it around like that. Or on the top, you know, as a tab. just Or the side of a journaling card, just as a little pull. Just so many things you can do. A couple of plain, pretty plain cards, both vintage. Uh, uh, recipe card. I have I've had these for a little while now, a couple of years, but from a thrift store. The uh, ledger paper that are that is in here is there. Let me show you. Let me see. Is there ledger paper in here? Did I put ledger paper in this one? Oh, I don't think I did. There's not ledger paper in this one, but these are receipts from ledger paper. <laughs> so these are old receipts that are vintage that you can do something with. You know, collage or whatever. If you're making a master board, these would be interesting. Just interesting papers. I would put this even in here. This is from, and it has numbers on it. So this could be interesting to put into something, a collage or whatever. Decorate the edge of a page, whatever you want. This is from some sorry, uh, sorry silk pieces that I had uh, that I don't have anymore. They're all gone, except for these little strips that I made out of one piece. And they had all these sequins in lines, kind of like lines on it. I don't remember if it was a scarf or a, a tablecloth or whatever. But anyway, I had to, I cut them, but it's, it was hard to cut them. Anyway, this is what I ended up, strips of sequins. So these could be fun in little clusters too, or whatever you want to make out of them. But and there's a little tassel on the end. If you wanted to cut that off, you could put a paper clip through the end and have a little decorated paper clip. So... Just whatever fun stuff. A uh, little. Uh, this is a wallpaper scrap. Very pretty wallpaper. These. This wallpaper is not in there, but it, it's. Uh, you can see the pattern on there. It's kind of almost. It's a little bit embossed. I wouldn't really call it embossed, but you could feel the raised part here, the decorated part. So, just a nice piece of wallpaper. Here is a page from the encyclopedia. Another one, extra one there. And these little cut aparts I've been putting in all the packages. I divided them amongst the journals. So that's a little piece you can cut apart the little, you know, quotes and things. And then there's some tissue paper in here from a pattern. That's great to do things with. And some little piece of instruction, sewing instruction. And I've been putting two pieces of scrapbook paper in each one. So, and I try to kind of like coordinate them a little bit so that they go together. So I've been kind of putting a plain one and a decorated one. So you can see how these go together. The colors go together nice. So if you wanted to do something with those together, they do coordinate with each other. And I'll probably, these are the the things I have to fold one more time to get them in and um, be up to mail them, you know. So I will have to fold those once more, once more but it'll be all right. <laughs> and then this is a coffee dye doily. That'll be fun to play with. Some vintage wrapping paper. It is shiny, but it is from a thrift store. And then 
this is um, some Ideals magazine pages. So this one has family recipes, and this one side has some pretty, pretty roses. <clears throat> and then I just try to put like pretty, pretty pages in here for you to be able to do something with. Cut them up, or you you know pick a side and use the picture, or the side has little quotes on it called bits and pieces. If you've seen Ideals magazines. Before you're probably familiar with those. There's a pretty picture of a little girl with her doll. Or is that is that a mom? It looks like a doll, but this doesn't look like a little girl. This looks like a mom. <laughs> or an older girl, maybe. I'm not sure. And then another poem over here. They have beautiful poems, of course, in the Ideals magazines. And this is from these two are from the older one. Those are these are from these are vintage. But this one is a little bit, about 10 years or so older than that one. This was from the early 1950s, if I remember right. So that's why the pages look like they do. They're, it's an older edition. But there's a nice poem on this side. And then this pretty girl with her Christmas little bonnet there. It has a little Christmas decoration on her bonnet. But a beautiful little baby there. <laughs> so, And then this one, a beautiful page even though it's this kind of sepia or vintage, you know, black and white. It's a really gorgeous, you know, illustration on both sides. Look at the, the girl and the Christmas tree. The little match girl. So very adorable. Anyway, all that will be in that cellophane bag. And this will be, when you see this video, of course, um, this will be in my shop. I think you saw it pretty good. I just wanted to point out it does have a little um, something right here where it's worn but you know of course these are vintage I believe all these were from like uh, the ones that I'm doing right now are from the early 70s like 1970 not even right 1971 1973 something like that not even 1977 I think they were the early if I remember right the early 70s I'll have to look at one and confirm that but I think that's what it was anyway I hope you uh, enjoyed this one the flip through and uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.